Hey everyone, this is Tony Futures Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Python virtual environment using VN, VENV. This is a pretty straightforward tutorial. There's only one thing you have to know up front here, and that this will work for Python version 3.3 or greater. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial here, and we will check our Python version right off the bat here. So we are working with Python dash dash version. 3.8.5 and I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to uh, use multiple versions of Python to install multiple different uh, Python virtual environments. So let's see where is this one located so we can do which Python and that is coming from this directory on my system. I do have another version of Python in the user bin. Uh, let's just see we have Whole bunch of python things in here so python 2.7 that won't work but we do have this version here python 3 so let's see what version that is user bin python 3 dash dash version and that is python 3.7 so we can use each one of these for an example um, how to do that virtual environment so let's go ahead and do that I like to put all of my virtual environments inside of my home directory in a directory called ENV, which is short for environment. You can come up with any scheme that you want, or you can have these scattered all over your system. That's okay too. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and use this version of Python up here, the 3.8 to create our first virtual environment. And we can do that with Python dash M V E N V, and then the name of your environment. And this is going to be like a full path. So, um, it, and it could be a relative path. So I'm going to put the virtual environment in my env directory, and then I'm going to call it my env. Just that's the name of it. So um, we'll go ahead and do that. And this is going to create a virtual environment using Python 3.8.5. So how do we activate that? We can do source and then a relative path env my env bin. And let's just, we'll tab tab complete here. So there's a bin directory, include directory, a lib directory. This is all created for us when we executed that command. So inside the bin directory, you have, oops, that's what we want actually, but let's just go ahead. Um, we have our activate command. That's what we want to execute, but there's also pip. There's also Python uh, and then Python 3.8. So let's go ahead and activate the Python virtual environment. And you'll know that it's activated when you see this prefixed uh, behind your terminal window here. So we can test it out again, Python dash version. And this, because we are activated, V E R S version, because we have activated our virtual environment, we're going to be using the version of Python that's installed in the virtual environment. And um, if that doesn't make sense, I'll show you here in a second. So Python version, we're using version 3.8.5. And then if we do which Python this time, it's coming out of our virtual environment that we just created. So anything that we do in here, including pip, will install all those packages inside of this virtual environment. So let's let's try that. So like we'll do the same thing, which pip. The pip should be coming out of this virtual environment, and it is. And we can do something like pip install pandas and that will install to this virtual environment only, not on the system, just that virtual environment. So that'll take a couple more seconds here and um, until it installs and everything. And we'll just quickly test it out uh, just to demonstrate that functionality. And then we will go ahead and install a, another virtual environment with a different version of Python. So let's just open our Python uh, command prompt here, import, pandas and do, 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 do should work. Yep. There we go. So we're good to go. Uh, that's enough proof for me that that's working. Let's deactivate our virtual environment. We can do that with the deactivate command. And now uh, if you do which Python again, we are back to the system installed version of Python here. So let's finally go ahead and install a, another version, another virtual environment with another version of Python. So we can do that same type of thing that we did before. So this time we just want to be specific about the version of Python we're using. So user bin Python, Python three. And again, this was 3.7 um, dash M V E N V. And then we're going to call this, uh, we'll call it pi, we'll just call it pi 37. And we want to make sure that we specify where we want that to be living. And that's going to be in the env directory. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and make that. And now let's just, let's look in here in our M directory. We have two different virtual environments. We have the first one, this is 3.8 and then 3.7. So let's activate the second virtual environment, the source. Let's give it a relative, relative path, env uh, pi 3.7 bin activate. And now we have that prefix on our terminal window here. We can do which Python It's coming from our virtual environment and we can do Python dash dash version python 3.7.3 so that should be good um, for this tutorial i hope it was very valuable to you if it was please consider subscribing to this video not this video to this channel i have plenty of other videos that you can watch about python so check those out and guys give it a thumbs up um, i will see you in the next video